It's called the IDR. And while it might look like a race car, the IDR doesn't exist to compete in any championship anywhere on the planet. No, this is a race car built without rules. A race car unlimited. So if you've got a blank sheet of paper and your only aim is to go really, really fast, what do you do for power? Have a listen to this. That's right, Volkswagen's No Limits racing car is electric. Volkswagen's answer to ultimate power is batteries. So let's see what those batteries can do. Oh my dear Lord! That's ludicrous. Not 60, two seconds. Not to 120 in five seconds. Twice the line is fast. And listen to it. It sounds like the demon love child of a Dyson Hoover and a flipping dentist drill. It's like being rear-ended by a bloody free train. Or, to put it another way, that is a McLaren 720S. It's over 700 horsepower, pretty much the fastest supercar on the planet right now. Remember that. <laughs> In fact, this 670 horsepower IDR accelerates faster than a Formula One car. But straight line speed is just the warm up act. Because the IDR's wings and fins generate over a ton of downforce. And with its electric motors also providing four wheel drive, when you get to a corner, the effect is profound. This thing gripped so hard that test drivers have blacked out driving it. Oh. And if you think the thing accelerates hard, you just feel the brakes, it'll pull five Gs on the brakes. Oh! But it makes your brain move around inside your skull! Chris, you're low on battery. Box, 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 please. Box, box. Yeah, copy that. Box, box. Yeah, I should have mentioned, that is the one issue with the IDR. Already, I need to stop and plug it in. Driven hard, the IDR will manage just 12 miles before needing a, let's be honest, lengthy recharge. But there's a very good reason for that, and that reason is Pike's Peak. Every summer, 
this legendary mountain in the heart of the Colorado Rockies plays host to the greatest hill climb race on the planet. The road to the summit is 12 miles long, and since the IDR was built to get up there faster than any car ever before, 12 miles of range was all it needed, and electric power would give it the edge. Like us, petrol engines breathe air. And the summit of Pikes Peak is at over 14,000 feet. There's not much air at that altitude. A regular internal combustion engine can lose more than a third of its power up there. But an electric car, well, that's just as powerful at the top as it is at the bottom. So if you want to get really high, electricity is what you need. And it worked. In 2018, in the hands of race legend Roman Dumas, the IDR obliterated the Pikes Peak record by more than 16 seconds. Job done. <laughs>